Greetings! Whether you're just beginning your adventure in jazz or if you're an established artist, listening to high-quality musical selections is absolutely essential if you would like to progress as an artist. In today's video, we'll be talking about the why and the how of critical listening. First, let's talk about the why. There's an old proverb that goes like this. Once upon a time, there were three blind men walking down a road, and they came upon an elephant. And the first blind man wrapped his arm around the elephant's leg and said, Oh, this elephant is large and round like a tree trunk. The other two went up front, and one grabbed a tusk and said, No, the elephant is sharp and pointy like a spear. And the third one grabbed the, the trunk and said, No, the elephant is twisty and wriggly like a python. And you know what? All three of them were actually correct. But none of them had the big picture. Listen, you can look things up online. Your teacher can write things out for you. You could get textbooks. You can get music. If you are reading something or looking up or just taking advice from someone, that's fantastic. But it will not have a place in the universe. If you listen to high-quality music all the time, everything that you read about, every piece of advice you get, every piece of music that you read, is going to have a place in the universe for you, and you are actually going to have the big picture. Otherwise, everything that you, would, you and I would study, or you and your teacher would study together, will just be little pieces parts, and like a little puzzle piece, but you wouldn't have the entire picture of it. Now, here's the how. A friend of mine in high school uh, was a, went to France as a foreign exchange student, and when he came back, boy, he was speaking French fluently. And I said, Ron, how did you manage to get so good at French? And he, he was there for six months. He said the first week was absolute mayhem. He hardly understood a thing. But after about a week, because it was around him all the time, on the news, on the radio, everybody at the breakfast table, everybody was talking and speaking French all the time. He was utterly, utterly immersed in it, and he became fluent by osmosis, more or less. This is the way you have to do it. High quality listening needs to be a complete immersion. If you just sort of dribble and drabble it, it's not going to get into your subconscious and you will not be able to speak the language. I, back in the day, and I'm sort of giving away my age, I actually broke eight Walkmans. Yes, kids, they used to use cassette tapes. They were made out of stone. Anyway, you would, I, I broke them because I just overused them, listening and listening and listening. So, the why... You need high-quality listening material, or you will not have the big picture. The how. You have to do it all the time. Listen during breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Listen while you're reading. Listen in the background while you're doing chores. Listen actively a lot, too. Sit down with the purpose of listening, uh, and listen critically. So that's the why and how of high-quality listening material and its necessity for you to pro progress as an artist.